Mr. President, a suggestion. Use uh, open source AI to help you design a, an executive order re, which requires that every gun buyer purchase, along with the munition, uh, registration, licensing, and insurance. Uh, You're singing my song, and, Marvin. Uh, I, you know, I, yeah, I wrote yeah. a book about this, The Hidden History of Guns and the Second I, Amendment, and that was my main I, proposal was, hey, we do this with cars, and you have a right to drive the Constitution, Article right. 1, Section 8, or Section 7, even, even right. says, you know, right. the country can build postal roads, you have a right to drive, you have a right to own a car, so, hey, get a license, All get right. insurance. I'm willing, I'm willing to give you credit, Tom, for uh, giving me that part of the idea. But the uh, use of AI is uh, an original idea on my part, yeah. uh, because um, it is supposed to uh, get you where you want to go in, in the sleekest way. And uh, I would also suggest that uh, uh, have uh, let it help you design the best way to... Uh, gain the cooperation of the gun dealers trade associations uh, to uh, uh, in the issuance of this executive order, uh, and that's uh, my proposal. Uh, Sounds like a good one. Uh, yeah, you know, who who has access to someone? who is very influential with the president and therefore could put this in his ear, you know. Uh, uh, that's a good question, but... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't give it to a, a senator because even though he may be a Democrat uh, who is the chair of the Justice Committee, he might be getting some benefits from the uh, NRA, uh, so I wouldn't try to do it by that route. I would try to do it more directly by getting at uh, Mrs. Biden or someone who has the ear of the president. Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, okay, here, I just, I just went into an AI program. This is on neva.com, neva.com. And if you, if you sign up with them for an account, you have access to their AI program. And I just asked it, how are Republicans promoting fascism? And it says, Republicans have been accused of promoting fascism, with some suggesting that President Trump's endorsement of violence against the government is an example of this. Others have argued that the Republican Party has been complicit in the rise of fascism, citing the party's failure to condemn white supremacists and other extremist groups. Further, some have argued that the Republicans embrace of authoritarianism and its disregard for democratic norms are signs of a growing fascist movement. That was written by artificial intelligence in the last yes, 10 seconds was. at neva.com. So I, I think you might be on to, you might be onto something, uh, Marvin. Marvin, I gotta run, but thank you for the call. It's, uh, you know, why don't we just say, you know, you wanna own a gun, that's fine. Just like, you know, you want to own a car, that's just fine. But, you know, you got to have a driver's license. You got to have a shooter's license. You got to have registration. You got to keep your gun registered every year. Pay a small fee to, you know, to, to manage the system. And you got to have liability insurance because cars can kill people and guns can kill people. This is just common sense. You're listening to Tom Hartman. Visit TomHartman.com for audio and video archives. Or AI starts writing legislation. <laughs> I don't know.